Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, we're gonna do an unboxing and teardown of the pie top. Let's get to the unboxing. Okay, here's our pie top box here. Pretty standard box. Let's open it up. Oh, we gotta cut that open. There we go. Hiya, what do we got in here? We got our, oh, it's a, it's a box in a box, kinda. What's this? Oh, Music Maker, Space Race, Smart Robot. Oh, these are little cutouts. That's cool. So a you know, kid could take this and cut out and make a little little mechanoid thing here. That's pretty cool. That's looks like this is for the, the robot thing. Wow, this is a lot more than the first Pi Top. All right, welcome to the Pi Top family. Guide box, inventors car. Oh, okay. These are four inventors guide cut out our cardboard cutouts. Two guide booklets, uh, inventors kit, Raspberry Pi optional and the power supply. Uh, we have Raspberry Pi here, and there's also this other accessory, the Pi Top Pulse. I think that's a speaker. All right, so open it up. Oh, okay, so this looks like those fell off of this uh, thing there. Okay, but here are the getting started guide and the inventor guide. So this is, uh, the Pi Top is a kit for uh, kids so that they can learn about computing. Here is the Pi Top itself, a box of accessories. Cool. All right, let's, let's see what's going on here. Let's look at our box of accessories. Oh, some distance sense buttons, potentiometers, jumper cables, oh, breakout board, this is cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the PyTop itself. All right, open it up. Hey, it seems pretty flat on here. I remember the uh, PyTop one, there was like a bit of a bulge here, and there was a, a cutout that's slide here, but this one, apparently you just go like this, and here's where you install everything. I wonder what this is. This looks like it's some kind of a tool. This, uh, this appears to be a lot more sophisticated than the previous version. I think our Raspberry Pi plugs into the side here. These are little USB plugs here that go into the USB. Oh. Remove before creation. There's our mounting screws for the Raspberry Pi. This is a cooling bridge. It looks like it's got a, it has a, a couple of features. It's clearly a heat sink, but then also it's gonna port over the GPIO to this header over here on our hub. So this is gonna fit like that. It's got this uh, thermal pad on there. If you're just putting this together, you wanna slide, yeah, here we go. This thing slides back and forth on this rail. Remember last time, like the rail system was a little more complex than this. And then next thing we'll do is take this hub and it has a audio, the AV jack, and then it has HDMI. So we just plug that into here. So then that's gonna supply power, give us HDMI, and then when we put the, uh, the cooler cooling bridge on there, it'll bring our GPI over here, and then there's a little header down there, which connects to this, and then we have the GPIO on our breakout board there. But alas, I'm gonna take this thing apart now. Oh, look at that. We have a USB port on the inside on this hub here. That's pretty cool. Wait, I wonder how that's working, because, oh, okay, so, yeah, so, so this USB, so we have our USB here, it's going to that, which connects to our hub as well. There's two flat flex ribbon cables connecting to our hub right here. Hopefully they are different lengths there, yeah, okay. And we have security seal, warranty void if removed. Wow, this has a warranty on it and it's void if I take this off. Well, I guess I'm gonna void, void the warranty. I really gotta take this off, don't I? Why does this guy have a warranty? Why do they gotta have what warranty, war warranty void is removed? That's lame. I got my pry bar. Look at that, I pulled out the rail. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try and peel this. Oh, look at that, just snaps right up, cool. So, there's a piece of the frame. Can't believe there's warranty voided for move stickers on here. Blows my mind. Mind is blown, mind blown, all that kind of stuff. There, got the keyboard out. Ah, okay, there, it just slides out like that, cool. Wow, this is a nice battery bank. Did a really great job in this battery here. Battery module is pretty awesome. But now, let's take apart the screen. Okay, so there's this piece of rubber down here. I don't know if it's glued in here. Oh, I think it's glued. Oh, looks like I got it. There we go. The bezel of the screen just snaps in place. Okay, I wonder if the screen is taped down or glued in. Oh, look at that, it just snaps out. Just pops right out. Okay, wow. So I've got the pie top all torn apart. Um, so what I think is the, the quintessential component of this that makes that pulls, ties everything together, uh, pretty much literally, is the Pi Top Hub 2.0. This thing is really nice. It's a lot smaller than the previous one, and many of the parts are integrated right into this board here. Okay, so the parts that I found on here um, were the AT-Tiny 88. There is a 
multiplexer demultiplexer for the GPIO, and then also for the video, there's a HDMI to embedded DisplayPort converter. On, on here, obviously, I'm gonna find, I found um, a battery, a lithium ion battery management uh, integrated circuit, and then a uh, gas gauge. There's another integrated circuit here I wasn't quite able to find, um, but I'm sure it has something to do with power regulation or battery mon monitoring. Uh, but this is a really nice battery pack. It, it seems like it might be a little bit more, a little bit smaller than the other one, but it's definitely more compact. And I'm sure that it's a, uh, it's just as just as suited for the application. So then also off of this connector, we have another ribbon cable that's going to our keyboard. And this is, a, I think this keyboard is really nice because it's got this uh, metal backing on it. And um, I wasn't able to find this integrated circuit on here. I think it's some kind of microcontroller. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's taking input from the uh, touchpad and then also multiplexing the keys. So then we have our, uh, our Pi Top uh, heat bridge. Our GPO is coming over to here and connecting with the hub, that's really cool. So on our um, PyTop Proto Plus, uh, I found out there's an AT Tiny 20. Yeah, there's an AT Tiny 20 on the bottom here, so that's cool, we could have some fun with that. Honestly, I think this is a really nice um, kit. Um, granted, I think it should come completely disassembled, even more disassembled than this, and then it, and then like people should have to put it together. But I understand it's geared toward like younger, younger kids. Well, maybe there could be a model that they ship where the, nothing is assembled. So in a future segment, I'm gonna have this thing pieced together. I'm gonna boot it up into the PyTop OS. If you have any questions or comments, please visit element14.com forward slash pseudosargent. And I'll see you on the command line.